Hey everybody, it's Abrahana Smith woohoo! and her traveling band of toddlers. I got one here and one over here. So today I'm going to be making um, a me, me. black raspberry buckle. Me, me. Essentially it's like, think of like a, a blueberry muffin Mom. except it's not in muffin form. And because I have blackberry, black raspberries, not blackberries, they are different. And to, um, we're going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to make a double batch. Um, what, what? That bug smells like it ate this thing. The bug ate that thing? Yeah. But that's a, a, a stainless steel bowl. I don't think it ate that. So. Alright, so what I have here is it wants a quarter cup. One, two, three, four of butter and I'm going to be using this because I have it and I need to use it up. And so I'm doubling the recipe. So a half a cup. Can I put it in? Can I put it in? Is the whole thing. Yes. Go ahead and put that in. <coughs> no, 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 no. <coughs> Alright, let me go look and see what the next thing is. I put it in. Mm -hmm, good. I have butter on it. Alright, now we need to put in the sugar. And it calls for three quarters of a cup. And because we're doubling the recipe, Three quarters and three quarters is one and a half. So remember all those times you thought you would never use fractions? Well, if you cook or bake. That was yeah. That was yeah. Yeah. Or you drop your phone, you totally will still use fractions. So I got this is a half a cup. That's one half. Oh, I know. It's, this is a mess, though. This is one cup. And then this is one cup and a half. All right, now, here, why don't you push the head down. All right, and then turn it on low. There you go. It's not loud. All right, so we're going to mix that, it said, until it's fluffy. Like, it needs to be kind of creamed together, essentially. Once it says the sugar and um, butter are fluffy together, you beat in one egg, and I'm doubling the recipe, so that's two eggs. It's going around the mountain. It is. I want you to turn it up a notch. This way. Turn it up this way. There we go. It's on high. that stir together. I'm going to go check the recipe. Alright, so the next thing, it wants all the dry ingredients, and I usually don't add the, I don't mix the dry ingredients all together, but the stuff that's important for it to um, mix together, like the leavening agent, which is this, stop, you're too, too much, or the salt, I usually add to when it's wet and let it, and then I add the flour, so. Two teaspoons, T-E-A. So 
so I'm doubling the recipe, so that's going to be four. The oven is finally preheated. The oven is set to four or 375 degrees, and you just heard it beep. All right, so I got all of my leavening in. I'm going to do the salt. It's a half a teaspoon, and one teaspoon. Get that mixed in. Eat the cut up stuff first. And as you can see, it makes a really pretty batter. Done with these. All right, so the next thing, that, the last, next to the last thing is it's two cups of flour for each, and I'm, since I'm doubling it, we're going to put in four cups. And then it asks for a, what, a half a cup of, dude, it's like dangerous in this kitchen, half a cup of water, and, or actually a cup of, half a cup of milk, I'll take that. So I will... Add plain water because oh my god! And actually, I might only even add half, and then uh, see if the berries like juice it. And of course, you want to start to add this. process but it's totally worth doing one cup starting to get a little stiffer So that's two cups. This is the third cup I'm scooping. I may have to add some um, some liquid to it at this point. That's okay. Yeah, because it's getting really like doughy, and I don't want it to be super doughy. I got my black raspberries, and I'm going to throw some in and see if that juices it up, because these are really going to smash, and it's probably going to color it a lot, too, so that's cool. Now, it does specifically give you an amount. I think it says, like, one cup. I'm going to double check that. A pint, 500 milliliters of... Okay, so you can see this is totally coloring. It's making it absolutely purple. And that's cool. Making me absolutely purple. But really, there's kind of no rules. <laughs> Just right. Yeah, and I can see this is absolutely getting looser. So I'm going to put finish my third cup right now. 
right, here's my fourth scoop. Okay. My fourth cup and this is definitely getting stiff it's not like a muffin mix at all you know muffins are kind of a loose uh and i'm just going to take my one cup that i've been using and i filled it with water with one cup and i'm just going to add ooh, I'm, i may not add all of it but uh I know I want to loosen it up a lot. No, I know. What? I'm thinking this is about, see that's about half of that. And I'm thinking that's about where I want it to be. I feel like those blue, those black raspberries did juice it up a lot. It totally made it super purple. I know traditionally like a buckle would be like, like a buffin, white or yellow. No, no, no. With like the bumps of color. And these are just absolutely beaten in, and I feel like this is good to go. All right, I need to go check on my kid, and I'll be right back. They would use a strawberry, a blueberry, or a raspberry, and a blueberry, or a strawberry, and a black raspberry. So it's a traditionally like a 4th of July treat. Okay. So essentially I just spread it around, I clean off my, my spatula as much as possible, and then here is the magic, this is kind of, this is the, what makes it a buckle, as opposed to like a cobbler or anything like that. Alright, so, watch out. I've got my berries, ooh berries, I gotta, and here's what we do, literally you sprinkle them on the top and the the buckle will rise up and encompass those grab them in so some of them will be peeking out the top and some of them will be down inside and i'm going to use kind of a lot because frankly i got a lot of this and um i got all the stuff i can handle for many days so every once in a while i find a little stem in there but these are from my mom Literally, I went over and we, we went berry picking yesterday. And uh, so, again, these were really, these were free. <laughs> um, and these also are not sprayed, so I know I can just like rinse and go with them, you know, sort of a thing. So, this is a ton of black raspberries. So, the next thing I'm going to do is put it in the oven for, I don't know, like 30 minutes or what, what? No, leave that be. We're going to make a second batch. Alright, so it says bake for an hour, and that seems like a little long for me. So I'm probably going to check this at 35 minutes, and then like every 5 to 10 minutes from there, so... Don't monkey that. That's on. Okay. Woo. Okay, so what I have now is a second batch. Whoa, Lillian. I need this. I need to use this. I guess I'm not. You got to scoot down. Well, I was going to. All right, so I got my spatula from the previous and... I clearly have just used the same bowl again. 
And I, I didn't clean out none of that purple stuff because it's the same stinking recipe. It's stupid. It's like extra work. And I don't do extra work. Abby, don't do it either. Mm-mm. All right. So I'm just going to get it off the beater here. What was that noise? It's the car. It's a car. A car. A car driving down the road. Be patient. All right, so. What I would consider a traditionally colored buckle is this. Here, take this. Is this kind of like white cake or vanilla cake or well I guess it's yellow cake it's not a white cake because white cake is white but I'm just gonna kind of mix this in here all right so that's the kind of what you're looking at now traditionally with a buckle I got one you're going to throw kind of a layer down I like to have a good layer, and like I said, I have kind of a lot of raspberries, so I'm going to just put that in. Now, then what you're going to do is take your cake, and you're going to probably put about half of it on. This could be a little thinner. That yolk shake. Okay, so. That, that, that yolk shake. I forgot to spray it. Oops. What? What'd you do? I forgot the spray might be in. Oh no. You, I don't have any more to give you, honey. So it's going to stick on the bottom, but that will not make it taste any less good. But, you know, quote unquote disasters happen. It's not a disaster. This is not a showpiece. This is a. That's right, we're going to cover up those berries. Evelyn knows what she's doing in the buckle department. Okay, good so. Good night, berries. Good night, berries. So here we go. More berries. More berries. More cowbell. You're not going on the floor. Oh, no. And you see, I'm just going to do kind of like what I would call a light coating. And then the rest of this guy is going to go in. Looks like a burrito one. Yeah. Good night, other berries. Good night, other berries. Oops. A little zealous there. Okay. All right. And then again, we're just going to. done yeah all right and then of course the most important step in the blueberry but or in a, a buckle of any type this of course is a black raspberry I keep I just think of blue a buckle now with a buckle it can be it can be anything strawberry black raspberry blackberry um, kind of whatever we're gonna put some on the top and then these should just sink in and like I said, the cake should just come up around it and make it delicious. Hey, 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 don't be monkeying with my camera setup. She's totally monkeying with the kids. It's a toddler quake, toddler. I got a leaf here. Anyway. So I, now this obviously is a little different shaped pan than my last one. So this one may take more on like the 45 minute because it's not so wide it's it's a narrower pan but this is done i would i'm going to wipe this up so it doesn't burn but that is my next buckle or a more traditionally color wise although i do feel like that buckle that we made with the berry juice on the inside will probably taste better because it's good juice on the inside <laughs> All right, so uh, when the, uh, the other one comes out, I have 18 more minutes on it. 
we'll head over to that and see how it goes. We're, we're beeping. <gasps> Ooh, it looks so purple. I need to get something to test it. Not done yet. I'm gonna give it another maybe 15 minutes. So this is what my buckle looks like out of the oven. I would have hoped it would have swallowed some of these some more, but it's a cake with berries in it, and you can see it's actually kind of pulled away on the side just a little bit, which is perfect. So we're going to let this cool off and maybe have a slice. Now I did go ahead and put this guy in. my Now something with when you do it like this and you don't put the fruit in until like you cover it, is a lot of people like to do that for 4th of July and do a red, white, and blue. I wanted to go ahead and show you the inside of the white or the yellow cake buckle. Um, a lot of the fruit down at the bottom, there's a lot of fruit in the middle, or on the top, but there's some in the middle. Okay, and you can see here that it did not stick terribly, like any more than I feel like a regular cake would. I'm going to cut this in half and give this to the girls. So this is the, the edge piece. Hey! <laughs>